Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Next, I'm going to explain to you how to do this uh, preparation of the normal loss account and the preparation of the abnormal loss and abnormal gain account. Previously, we have looked into the preparation of process 1, process 2 and process 3. Hopefully, you have understand this. Next, we move on into the normal loss account and abnormal loss and abnormal gain account. Okay. Uh, this is just a double entry. So uh, uh, the same thing, well, you draw up your normal loss account. So you have three columns on the on both of your debit side and credit side. You have the quantity, CPU and amount. On the credit side also, you have the quantity, CPU and amount. For your normal loss account, in process one, we don't have any normal loss. Okay. This one, you don't have any normal loss in your process one account. But in your process two, you have this one, the normal loss. Okay, you have this normal loss. So you just copy whatever that you have on the credit side here. 100, 10 cent and 10 ringgit. So this one is a double entry. So if you have process 2 on the credit side, so you will have in your normal loss account, you put that as process 2, uh, uh, 100, 10 cent and 10. Okay, put that here from process, sorry. This one, this will be from your process to 110 and uh, 10 cent and 10 ringgit uh, the same goes for your process 3 85 20 cent and 17 ringgit okay here you have the uh, normal loss in process 3 85 20, uh, 20 cent each at total of 17 ringgit okay once you have done that so this one it goes to your cash account so this one goes to your uh, cash in process 2 so you will have a 100 at 20 uh, at sorry 10 cent and the total is 10 ringgit okay in process 3 in process 3 you will have your uh, abnormal gain so in process 3 you will have that cash because this one uh, your actual loss is only 80 so you can sell at a scrap value of only 80 uh, not really sell but the value of your uh, loss is actually uh, your your actual loss is only 80 so the cpu for that 80 is uh, is 0 0.2 given in the question so 80 uh, times 0 0.2 gives you uh, 16 so the difference the difference of uh, 5 where does it go so your 5 is actually your uh, abnormal gain so your 5 is actually your abnormal gain that is 1 5 times 0 0.2 gives you 1 so that is your abnormal gain from process 3 so i repeat in process 2 you have this one you just take uh, from the for the normal loss account you have the double entry to process 2 and process 3 uh, for process 3 you have this one 85 0 0.2 and 17 but on the credit side of your normal loss account it is actually out of your 85 normal loss uh, 80 is your uh, your actual loss and 5 becomes your abnormal gain and then in your abnormal gain account you have the process 3 this one is your double entry 5 ring uh, 5 kilo at 31155 this is double entry from your process 3 you take it from here from your process 3 your abnormal gain is 531155 and then this one you take from the normal loss here the double entry to the abnormal gain that is 50.21 50.21 and the difference of 154 what's the difference of 154 so that 154 goes to your statement of profit or loss okay since you have abnormal gain the difference goes to your so PL. So the same goes if you understand your abnormal gain, the same goes to your abnormal loss account. So for your abnormal loss account, you see in process 2 we have abnormal loss. This one in process 2 we have abnormal loss. So your abnormal loss is 50. So 50 at CPU of 21, 1050. This one is the cost of your uh, this one is your abnormal loss, so double entry to your abnormal loss account. So this one, process 2, uh, 50 kg at 21, the value is 1050. Uh, and then for the cash, because this one is a loss, you cannot sell that as a good unit. Uh, uh, the value is not, a, uh, the you, you only can sell it, kind of, uh, I use the word sell. Okay, uh, the value of that 
uh, losses is only 10 cent. So you can only get 10 cent for that, uh, that 50 kg. So the total value is 5 ringgit. 50 kg times 10 cent per kg, you will get 5 ringgit. In fact, you don't expect this item to be a loss. So you, if you don't expect it to be a loss, but it's actually a loss because that's why it is an abnormal loss. So what's the difference? The difference is actually a loss that you have to bear. So the loss that you have to bear that goes to your SOPL. If you were to under, you were to see that SOPL, this goes to the uh, uh, the debit side of your SPL. That means it is a loss. Okay. If abnormal gain, this goes to the credit side of your SOPL. That means that becomes your revenue again to you. Okay, so uh, means the company have to bear these losses. Why? Because you don't expect this to be a loss. Uh, so the cost of this will be borne by the company, and that is considered as a loss to the company. Okay, for abnormal loss. If you have a normal loss, so the cost of normal loss will be borne by the good units. But the cost of uh, abnormal loss is actually, it goes to the SOPL. Okay, that's how you prepare the uh, normal loss, abnormal gain and abnormal loss account. Okay, so make sure, uh, by now you should be able to prepare the process account. You should be able to first determine the quantity of normal loss, abnormal loss or abnormal gain in any process account you know, or in any process uh, question, process costing question. Once you, have be, once you have determined that, then you should be able to prepare the process account. When you prepare the process account, make sure you know how to calculate the CPU. So this is the formula for if you want to calculate the CPU, that is the total cost minus the normal loss in terms of the value divided by the input minus the normal loss uh, quantity. Okay, and then you've got uh, the CPU. So that CPU, it, it is being used to determine the CPU of the item, the, your output. Okay, as well as the abnormal gain or abnormal loss that you have. Okay, and then if let's say in the question, the value of normal loss is not being mentioned or the value of uh, the question mentioned that the scrap value of your normal loss is zero, then you just put here. If uh, sometimes in the question, you will have a quantity here. You have a quantity, but the CPU is zero. So you just put in the quantity here and put the value as zero. And then zero times something will be zero as well. Okay. So if, you, if that is the case, then you will have that. And then make sure you know how to prepare the normal loss account, the abnormal gain account and the abnormal loss account. So uh, that finishes the simple process. That means simple process, you don't have any, uh, any closing WIP. Also, you don't have any opening WIP. Okay, so hopefully you are clear on this. So with that, thank you very much.